Hey, what's going on? This is Brandon Epstein here from mentalfitnesstraining.co and in this video, I wanna share with you one of the most powerful mental fitness training techniques out there, meditation, and specifically how you can start meditating at home. A lot of people get stressed out just by the idea of like starting to meditate on their own and creating their own practice because they feel like it's difficult, it's confusing, they don't know where to begin. And so in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the steps of starting your practice right here right now. So the first thing I recommend, if you want to start meditating at home, create a sacred space. It's really helpful to anchor yourself wherever you are and know that whenever you come to this space, this is where you meditate. So you can do something as simple as taking a candle, lighting it. And when you light your candle, you know, okay, now my practice is starting. And it seems like a really simple thing, but what it does, it, it anchors you in the moment and kind of sets up your subconscious mind to know that every time you light that candle in that space, wherever you are in your house, it's time to meditate. And so in addition to uh, lighting a candle, got my notes here, I also recommend getting as comfy as possible. Meditation is all about going from our beta brainwave active mind to an alpha, theta, or delta state where we're able to relax. So, you know, if you have a comfy couch like I do, sit on your couch. If you need to get away from kids or other stuff going on, find a place in your house where you're not gonna be disturbed that's comfortable. And then just call that your sacred space and whenever you're gonna meditate and do your practice, you go back to this space. All right, step two, have a plan. I personally have a hard time making sure I meditate consistently unless it's a part of my day and it's just a part of my routine and my lifestyle. So personally, I like to do it first thing in the morning when I wake up. I go right into my practice. I have a few things I do and I'll share a little bit about that later. But for you, I would say block off some time. You know, it can be 15 minutes every morning, it can be midday, it can be in the evening. Just whenever you have some time to dedicate to just being with yourself and relieving some stress and some anxiety and bring some more peace to your life, block off the time. So do it on your calendar, set it up and make sure it's an intention. In addition, um, I say, you know, when you're making a plan around your meditation, make sure you know what you're gonna do so you don't arrive there saying, okay, I'm gonna meditate and then you're like, you get, you know, you start scrolling on Instagram and you start just losing focus on why you even got into that space in the first place. So by having a plan, I mean either decide that you're gonna do your own personal meditation practice and you kind of have an idea of what that might be going into it or you're doing a guided meditation like many I have on this channel and like many I have also in my free app which is available, linked in the description below. All right, next up, I also recommend having a notepad uh, nearby, and it could just be your phone, maybe turn your phone on airplane mode, because I don't know about you, but when I go into meditation, I get my best aha moments, my best ideas, so you don't wanna have to run around being like, ah, oh, what do I do with this great idea? I need to get this down somewhere. Just have a notepad or your phone somewhere nearby so you can document those notes as you go along. All right, so step three, I recommend setting an intention. So right before we start the practice, ask yourself, sit with yourself for a moment, ask yourself, what's it like to be me right now? And then ask yourself, what do I need right now? Because sometimes we'll be overwhelmed with stress, sometimes we need more motivation, more energy, and so it just takes a few deep breaths and checking in with yourself, asking yourself, what do I need right now? And sitting in that empty space, that's gonna give you more clarity around what your intention should be for your practice. And once you have that, you can either do your own self-designed meditation or you can pick out a meditation that I have in my app or on this channel that's gonna guide you through those things specifically because there's meditations out there for everything you can imagine from dealing with anger to stress to anxiety to sleeping better to getting better at your sport, having more energy, you name it, there's a meditation for it. All right, and so step four is actually getting into your meditation practice. And so when you're beginning to meditate, there's many ways to do it, but I always recommend that you start with something very simple and just anchor yourself in the present moment through your breath. So that's doing something as simple as closing your eyes and just breathing in through your nose and out through your nose. 
And this may seem simple, but as you continue to do that cycle of breath, what you're gonna do is focus just on the breath. So the sensation of the breath coming in over your top of your lip, going in through your nose, following it through your lungs, and then that breath coming back out. And so what this forces you to do is get back in the present moment because you're gonna feel that your mind's gonna wanna wander and you're gonna think about this and that, the thing you have to do later, the thing that happened earlier. And the work, the reason why we put, up, put together this practice of meditation is to get you present. And so take as long as you need just to be in that cycle to anchor yourself in the present. And that's something that is always kind of a non-negotiable for all my meditation practices. I start there. And then I also remember to bring myself into a state of gratitude. So I recommend this for you too. It's very simple. After you've gone through that cycle, maybe it's just a couple minutes of, of breathing and being present. You focus on all the things you have to be grateful for. So I always just do the simple things. I go, I'm grateful that I have legs to walk, eyes to see, ears to hear, a mouth to taste. I go through all those things that are very fundamental to being human. And most of all, I'm grateful to be alive. And if you have a lot of other abundant things going on in your life, like family, friends, physical things that you like in the world, then you can definitely practice that gratitude for those things as well. So stack as much good stuff as you can. And then you, from there, you can start to do more complex meditations. You, know, you can start to do guided meditations. And I have a lot of guided meditations, as I said before, linked up in my app or on this channel. And what I think is cool about those is you can begin to do mine and I'll guide you at first, but over time you'll start to see the patterns in which I'm teaching you. And you can just do it on your own after that. It will become your practice and you can start to guide yourself. And so after you go through some, that kind of uh, more intentional meditation practice, you can leave that practice with some clear things that you wanna take action on because it's great to get present, relieve stress, anxiety, get yourself anchored in the moment. Um, but then we always have to take action in the world to go create the results that we want. So maybe you're leaving each session with just some actions and maybe the action is to relax that day. Maybe you've been working a ton and the, the action is kind of inaction. I'm gonna go relax. But maybe there's things that you know you've been putting off, you've been procrastinating. So maybe you go put an action plan to get those things done, whether it's cleaning, working on stuff for work, or if you're an athlete, getting some extra reps in. All right, and so that's really how I recommend meditating at home. I'm gonna go through a really quick overview again. It's creating your sacred space. You have a place you can go that anchors you in meditation, have a plan when you go into it, including, uh, including what you're gonna be doing in that practice, uh, setting an intention, and then finally just getting into your meditation practice. And so in conclusion, there's no right or wrong way to meditate. The whole point of meditation as a tool is to bring you back into the present moment, becoming aware and mindful of your current present moment experience. Because with that awareness, you become powerful. You gain the ability to change the way you feel, the way you behave, and what you're creating in your life. So whether it's five minutes or two hours, it's really all about you and your personal preference and what you need that day. So. Don't be super strict with it. Make it fun, make it enjoyable, and just start today. Um, make it fit your goals and make it a habit. So do your best to try to do it the same time every day so you start to build that habit so it's just as a part of your routine as brushing your teeth in the morning. All right, that's it for this video today. If you enjoyed this, if it was helpful in some way, please subscribe to the channel, drop any questions or comments you have below, and be sure to check out my free meditation app, which is also linked up in the description. And if you really wanna learn how to control the way you feel, the way you behave, and what you're creating in your life, I highly recommend subscribing to the premium version of my app, where I'll take you through my eight levels of mental fitness training. So that's available in the app. Of course, the app also just has a bunch of free meditations as well, so you can start with those. And if you're really liking them, then we can go next level with the mental fitness training. My name is Brandon Epstein. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the same video on the next video.